So the other big story which has uh, broken this afternoon is Jack Genevan after all the denials <laughs> about him even contemplating leaving Collingwood. It seems like that is potentially on the cards to the Hawks. It's probably an indication of just how crazy the trade period is. A week ago, everyone's categoric. He's not going anywhere. Nothing's happening. And now, with one day left in the trade period, it looks as though he is now exploring the option of a trade. Him and his manager, John Meeson, have, have canvassed that. Now, apparently, he's met with the Hawks today as well. And uh, the club... Hawks well and truly in the box seat to land his services next year if it is that he leaves the club. And Collingwood uh, now have to, go to have to work through if they do a potential trade for him with a day left in the trade period. But uh, Hawthorne, the red-hot favourite, at his best, we know he can kick 40 goals in a season. Um, at his worst, we know all the off-field dramas that have uh, engulfed sort of the club at times. Collingwood, uh, and obviously as well as him as a 20-year-old 20 twenty-year-old kid who's trying to make his way. But uh, some fascinating stuff. I mean, even his Instagram story, it just it doesn't... It, it, there's always something. So he put up an Instagram post saying, you know, locked in. That was him at the club, which he was at today. At, just Collingwood. Before, at Collingwood. So just goes to show, there's him training there in the, in the bottom of your screen. So <laughs> um, it just, and he deleted that a couple of minutes later. There's just always something going on. The race is ahead of the grand final. There's always stuff happening, always stuff bubbling away with Jack Ginevan. But the, the big news, obviously, with the day left is that Jack Ginevan, uh, well and truly on the cards to be at a different club next year. And Hawthorne looks to be that club. And Craig McRae backed him in all year. Let's be mm. honest. He's had his uh, off-field battles. He's had his on-field battles. And fly stuff stuck with him the whole way, but that's Codland. Graham Wright said, we're open to you know the future of our players because it's their decision where they want to go or they want to stay. And I think when the Shields one dropped, yeah. <laughs> the penny dropped for um, Jack Ginevan. So I said last night here, Hutto, that they'd retired the number 19 uh, for yeah. one year. Um, welcome to that. the Hawks, uh, Jack. Uh, <laughs> number 19, we'll uh, ha happily hand that over. But in all seriousness, he's right in the sweet spot for where Hawthorne's at now. So, so let's, work, let's work through it then from the different uh, angles. Is it, a, is it a good pick for good target for the Hawks? It's a great target. You lose Brockman and you, you pick up a Ginevan into that forward line. Kaczynski possibly may go. You've got Mitch Lewis, which you build your forward line round. But... I love the fact that uh, Hawthorne are building. Uh, we saw what they produced late this year in terms of their young kids. Their midfield were top three this year, so their forward structure and their forward line needs some tweaking, needs some young energy in there, and I think Jack Kittivan's a perfect fit. Well, you look at other clubs that potentially could maybe at least ask the question around around Jack Essendon, Frio, uh, Gold Coast are just three that probably spring straight to mind. But for, for me, look, he was settled at Collingwood. I think, you know, in terms of what... Craig McRae had done for him. I agree with that. Changed the way that he played his footy at times from that yep. duck to, to actually just um, playing the game more, more effectively. The Schultz inclusion was more for me the Taylor Adams out. And then the other three still survived, the McQuarrie Hill and, and Ginevan. Mm. So that's, uh, he doesn't see that uh, himself personally now. So now we wait to see which club actually comes out and, and fights for his service. So Hawthorne have got picks 33, 44, 54 and 63 in this year's draft at the moment and also the future. So we're mentioning Hawthorne, well. but just to be clear, they haven't... It hasn't been officially announced, has it, that, that he wants to go Not to officially, Hawthorne? but yeah. Hawthorne are well and truly into him and he's okay. very much open to the prospect of playing for Hawthorne. And they met today. Yep. Yes, well, that, that, I haven't confirmed that. That has been the reporting, though, that he has met with okay. Hawthorne. Uh, and it looks as though they are well and truly... What we do know is that they're in the front seat to secure his services. Yep. What, what, what is the pick, then? That's the question. What yep. do you give up for someone who's got so much upside? It can kick 40 goals in a season, but also comes with a, a fair bit of Well, baggage. they've got 33. They've got 33 and 54. So mm. and it's, more, it's more likely yeah. 33. Yeah, or in between. Yeah. 44. <laughs> yeah. Well, 44. Oh, so 44, yeah. 44, 44 perfect. Well. Yeah. 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 So part of this, and this is, uh, refers to the other trades, uh, such as the Radical Air, is that the view generally around the competition is that this, this year's draft, you've got your first six or seven, and then maybe there's strength, depending on who you ask, to about 20. But after mm. that, it's not rated as a high, um, a high quality draft. Now that can be that's in well, well that's only up no, for debate, well, in hindsight. But that's how it's yep. being. That's how these picks are being judged by the club. So they don't. Clubs are, are asking for much more than potentially what they normally. Geez, want. you wouldn't want to be a kid who's drafted at 25, this year, would you? Because you're walking into it and they're going to think you've got no talent yeah. whatsoever. I think we need to just be a bit more sort of patient with with that assessment. There'll be some we, gems which in which that. We are. There, there, there always no is, and when there's super drafts, there's players that don't that, that get drafted high that don't don't yeah. perform as well. That's just the but nature. But that hangs over the it. negotiations. Now some of it's just for well, show, sure. and and clubs will fold in the end because they're better to get something than nothing. But some of it is is their their yeah. version of what of real. Yeah. But it's a good discussion because mm. we look at the championships this year and, and Metro and Country didn't perform as well. And I'm not sure it's eroding in terms of the, the footy and the talent, but uh, it's certainly getting diluted. So we're looking at the Western Australian, the South Australian, 
uh, strength now in terms of where the kids are coming from. But, um, you know, the draft picks, like we spoke about uh, um, how far they go, 2023, 20, 24, 25, and then it starts to taper off. And, you know, you, you'll find your gems in there um, along yep, the way. Always. If you were with Jack and Nivens manager, would you say that we probably should stay and work your way through. It's a really stable club at the moment. They're in a good spot. Work your way back into the side. You've got existing relationships. Or would you be advocating? Well, he's in the Clearly side. He's, he's in the best 22. The he's only a, just, though. Just, yeah, though. Yeah, only just. And Lockie still, Schultz coming in. But still, but that's what I mean. Schultz replaces Adams instantly. That that That's the given in their lineup. I think, Other than that... But don't I forget, think grand final day, you know, McStay was injured. Like, it was right yeah. to the very end. So you've got end. Schultz. You've also got an awesome medalist now in Bobby Hill. You've yep. got Bo McQuarrie, who's only going to get better. I think he's got a lot of room for him. I love McQuarrie as a player. Does it depend on the deal he's offered by another club? Like, if he's offered a, multi, a multi-year deal, do you just go I think make it, it a business decision? I think Possibly. It's more, I think it's yeah. more an opportunity than it... As well. As well. But you look at Collingwood and Kingy said it on the show last night. They won their finals by... A single yeah. figure. So, I mean, they're the best team, let's be honest, and Brisbane pushed them. But is that era going to be there for that run? And and do you stick around and hope, in a way? Or do you just read the writing on the wall and say, my greatest opportunity for longevity in the game and success might be at another club? So that's what you've got to weigh up as a player. And I think it's a lot more open than when we played, John. If he didn't I hate have, going back that far. If he, didn't, if he didn't have the medal, would he be staying at Collingwood? Yes or no? I don't, I don't know if that's... that's the, yeah, I, I don't think he... I still think, still think he goes move. because of opportunity and where, where he's so. in the pecking order. If he, did, he if he doesn't have a medal, I reckon he stays. There you go. Really? OK. Well, well, you it, two have played. You it, know, all, I, I, yeah. it all depends on who you barrack for as a kid. We all know yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> once again, there's the, the old, the old uh, chestnut of his he barracked for the Hawks as a kid and we've got the photo of oh, the sign jump with Sam oh, Mitchell. Oh, there you go. So that's, that's obviously a card that... Clubs still can still play, even if you want to play Sam, with another club. Sam's actually standing on a milk crate there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when, when we look at Jack Univan... <laughs> I think you can say that and get away with yeah, it. Of course yeah. I can. Yeah. I'm going to text off Sam in a minute. Yeah. Um, he's overseas with his fellow teammates. That's just the nature of the beast we're in. It, it's that That's the game right now. Like it's, it You're is. sitting around a round table having a couple of celebrating drinks and you go, might be moving boys to another club. Yep. That's just that's the way it is. That's the environment we live in. It's it so is. cutthroat. We've got the free agency. It's just mm. the game. We were sitting in a pool in Vegas, and Jade Rawlings and Patty Bowden both got told they were leaving. <laughs> so it, can, it, it happens. It happens while they're away. Yep.